Hello there. Today we're going to be making a nice midweek tea for the family. Um, it's fairly balanced, really cheap uh, and quite nice. So we're going to start by frying some bacon in our pan. Good Scottish extra virgin rapeseed oil. Just going to go in with a handful of bacon. You can use sausage if you'd rather or chopped up um, square sausage, sliced, whatever. Um, we're going to just cook these out so we get a nice bit of texture on them. Okay, as you can see, the fat's kind of rendered down a bit. We've got a bit of colour to it, not too much. Um, Incident is worth mentioning, the pan I'm doing this in is one that will go under the grill, which is quite important. Um, so don't be using all these plastic candles then. Okay, into that now, we're going to put one chopped onion. All the ingredients for this will be in the list, uh, the description below. So that's one chopped onion. This is optional, one clove of garlic chopped up. If you don't like garlic, don't put it in there. I've got some fresh rosemary, just chopped up. You can use some dried mixed herbs or dried rosemary, a bit of thyme, something like that. But rosemary really likes bacon and cheese, so that's why I'm using it. So we're going to cook these onions out so they leave all their rawness. Okay, the onions are cooked out a bit now. So we're going to put in, I've just got one portobello mushroom, you can use little mushrooms. These are on special at the moment, that's why I'm using them. Um, you don't have to put mushrooms in. You know, this is really about what you've got handy. If you've got something like a courgette or peppers or something, go ahead and put those in. But because this is predominantly bacon, I want the flavours to all match. So mushrooms, garlic, um, rosemary, bacon, cheese, they all love each other. So we'll cook these out until any moisture that comes out is gone. So they're nice and cooked out now. If you notice, I haven't added any seasoning because I've seasoned the eggs separately. So I'm now going to put in a, a handful or so of peas. Because you need a little bit of veg in there, don't you? So there we go, handful of peas. Now, I've just chopped up some potatoes and fried them because I don't have frozen chips. Um, but go ahead, use frozen chips, cook them, crisp them up and then just chop them into little bits. Now into that, I've got six eggs. I've seasoned them with salt and freshly ground black pepper. So that goes in there as well. Now we're just going to move it around. So they all get mixed up. Don't worry about what it looks like. Get it mixed up, but as you're doing it, you're scraping it from the bottom and turning it. Okay? And we're only half cooking it at the moment. So it's only going to take maybe a minute or two. Just get it all mixed up. Now look, that's half cooked, so I'm turning off the heat. Okay, the heat's now off. You've got some residual heat in the pan anyway. Carry on stirring that until you've got something like this. Not fully cooked, but not raw. Now we're going to spread that round the pan. Get it nice and even. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's still cooking in the background. Okay, on top of that now, I've got a mix of mozzarella and uh, cheddar cheese, just your basic, you know, the pizza stuff you get from the supermarket. You can just use cheddar, just mozzarella. So all up to you, just something that will melt nicely. Good handful of that on there. There we go. That was probably about three handfuls there. Still frying away in the background, you can hear it. Don't have to put tomatoes on if you don't want to. I think they look pretty and they add a little flavour and texture when they grill. There we go. Now one final thing, because I like the way pepper tastes when it's grilled. 
just going to put some fresh pepper on top. Because that mozzarella is not salty and a little bit of salt. Now this is going to go under a hot grill until that cheese is all bubbly bubbly and melted and gooey lovely. So probably, I don't know, five minutes under a hot grill on the top shelf. Okay, that's it just out of the grill. Um, you don't want this overcooked. So, you know, that was maybe four minutes. Um, this is really nice on its own. It's really good with a tin of beans if you're trying to stretch it for the family. The really nice thing about this is that this is six eggs. You can see how big it is. If you're a family of four or five or six, whatever, you can eat this cold. It's really nice. You let it get cold, you cut it into portions, you put it in a fridge, and you can eat it from the fridge. It just tastes like kind of like a quiche. Um, there we go. It's not a runaway. There you go, you can see it, I'll turn it that way a bit. It's a very tasty meal, if you can imagine a spoonful of beans on there, a bit of salad, I know it's a rude word, um, but it's balanced, it's very cheap, and it only takes half hour to knock up. Um, really good tea for the middle of the week, feed the family, keep them all happy. Give it a try. Uh, as I say, all the ingredients will be in the description underneath. Cheers.